Shout out to Tim. But yeah, this is this is the problem here. I've been waiting for us to get on this subject. And I know that Ruiz is like, give me my money. But I'm also like, you should be like, hell no, I'm not going to Saudi Arabia. Like, this is like crazy as hell to me <laughs> that you would think that it's okay to do business with damn tyrannous people that cut <laughs> off journalists' uh, hands and fingers and head, dismembering people, uh, uh, human atrocities against women, uh, the LGBT community. Oh, can I go on? Oh, creating a nuclear preparation program right now. I mean, this is so outrageous to me. There should be an all-out stink. Everybody should be outraged at the fact that he would think that it's just okay to go over there and do business with Saudi Arabia, knowing all of the human atrocities that these people are known for, and by the way, have not gotten any repercussions for recently. So to me, it's like, why would AJ go over there and fight? Not only is it human atrocities in the in the area, but also you got them funding terrorist guys. This is like the main area where they actually fund. I mean, this is where the money comes from. And on top of that, let's get to the boxing boxing fans. Okay, is AJ's is AJ's UK fans gonna be able to go? Uh, the six the six hour plane ride yeah they could i mean if they got the type of money to pay for a saudi arabia flight and i'm sure it's a little less expensive but then can a uk fan i mean but then can a u.s fan pay the same amount of money to get to saudi arabia if they really wanted to see this fight in live of uh ruiz with his first championship defense like this is all set up too in a way that makes it where if AJ loses, they can cut the plug in Saudi Arabia so nobody actually sees him go down again. <laughs> like, like, they could be like, hey, cut it right now. 